What's up, everyone? Welcome to a Friday night stream. An Amigo Aaron stream. This week, we're going to be randomly playing whatever you want. I am up for any kind of action, baby. And so, I figured we would just play whatever was on tap. <clears throat> I haven't streamed for a couple weeks. And admittedly, I've got a bit of a cold. But, uh, the boat has inspired me to go forth and get some stream action in. Plus, I need a good, uh, tension breaker uh, from all the, uh, stresses of the real world. So I'm ready to try just about anything tonight. You want it? Just ask for it, and we'll give it a shot. Uh, as we're waiting for some folks to uh, enter, <clears throat> I'm just going to randomly pick something. Uh, you know, doing MSX on ARG this week. Let's try some MSX action here. And let's go with... Let's try MSX Time Pilot. I always like Time Pilot. It's a cool game, you know. We'll give that a shot. 128 big K, K bytes, kilobytes. Okay, let's see what they've got rigged up here. One, let's try that one. Okay. <clears throat> you never know with these things how to make them work. Okay, that looks good. I guess I should have known that. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> and here we go. Wow, I was hoping there'd be some music. Or sound of any sort. but uh, Or a bad guys. Here they come. This is a game I detested in the arcade uh, when I first played it. And then I got into it. And eventually, once I learned the subtleties of scoring points and, and, and playing it, I really started to enjoy it, to be, to be totally honest with you. And uh, got into a huge... Uh, points battle with the chud uh, back in the day and we uh, <clears throat> as far as we were concerned we did pretty good at it and <laughs> I know you can it's hard to believe after seeing that uh, effort uh, but I thought we did pretty good at it <laughs> anyway uh, but uh, yeah we had a lot of fun with this back back when it first came out uh, but uh, well <laughs> that's not true when it first came out I didn't like it one of the things I didn't like about it was it was really hard. <clears throat> and this is one of those crazy games. that, And this is a lot like Gyrus. You sort of have to get into the headspace of uh, how the game looks. I mean, is this plane scrolling along in the sky? No. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> right? Uh, but if you look at it the wrong way, it just makes it look sort of stupid. Uh, you, have to, you have to sort of sell out mentally. To enjoy this game, uh, I find I find uh, out these forced perception games are like that. And the, uh, there were a couple of these sorts of games, uh, but uh, you know you get used to it. I like I like the arcade version. That you know the Coleco had a great version of this. <clears throat> this one is uh, a little weak. One's to wonder if if the lack of sound is a a setting or because it's. Unlike um, uh, most of these versions, and this, I mean, aside from the sound, this actually is playing pretty well. I mean, all things considered, they, uh, they just released a really nice version of this on the Vectrix that I've seen, and I, uh, they've talked about it quite a bit on uh, Pixel Gaiden. I think it's called Vector Pilot, and it's a it's a beautiful rendition. But man, they are. Uh, it's super expensive. I've noticed that the Vectrix homebrew is really pricey. I know you get a overlay, but holy smokes. It's really, I guess if you have a Vectrix, you've probably got a lot of money. And maybe, <laughs> maybe that's the angle they're taking. That uh, you've got tons of cash. And uh, you're willing to pay for the super rare games. Like There can't be a ton of Vectrixes that are still out and about. Uh... I've got one, but mine right now is currently down. I don't think it's anything major. Uh, I think it is a, a bad reset button is what I'm thinking. It's what I think it is. Uh, but, uh, hey, uh, hey, Pixels. What's the good word, man? Uh, we're playing anything anyone wants to see tonight. <clears throat> and, uh, hey, Brock. I just uh, started the show with a little uh, time pilot on the MSX. Hi, Dave. Uh, 
but uh, you know I didn't like this that much <laughs> to say I wasn't real impressed with time piled on the MSX uh, let's try let's try one more MSX game while we're here how's everything out in Arizona Dave we had a nice day here let's see I like that <clears throat> a little a glass but a little something something let's see if we can find something interesting here Pac Mania, my God, I, I hit the I hit the wall on that. Let me see where we can go. Look at that! Would all those guys have mustaches? Gotta give that a shot. I'm a little bit on the wear of the night, boys, but uh, I hope you you'll indulge me. <laughs> you know me, I can't shut up. So, all right. It looks like this the Konami guys were like, listen, take the track and field guy and get him ready to play soccer. Look at that. <laughs> that is the that's the Rockettes from hell right there. <laughs> Holy mackerel. Well heck, I'm gonna be the blue haired uh, team. And then skill level one, halftime, yeah. I'll get her my own name. That's pretty neat. Um Gosh, do I have to go all the way through this? I guess I... Oh, my numbers. Well, let's see here. <clears throat> I'm going to say that my team is Canadian. Let's see here. I like the, I like the option here to, to uh, spell out your team name. I do appreciate that. Here we go. Let's fire this thing up. What's up, Buck? Frodo? Look at this. Man, my team looks like they're a bunch of golf kids. You don't want to piss off a Canadian golf soccer team. Oh, my God. This control's weird. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, nice. Get it. Get it, golf guy. Oh no! Watch the way my guys run. Trust me, here comes the high stepper. These guys are like, get in there! Oh, goalie! Oh! Okay. No, wait, come back for it! Alright. Dead gummit. Must seize control. You got it, Buck. Oh no! No! That's it. Now they're in trouble. I'm gonna run through this. I'm taking care. I'm doing this one for myself now. Yeah, I don't need no help. Oh, don't! Shoot. No. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, Dave. See what you can get for that. I wouldn't quit your day job, my friend. Ha <laughs> ha Alright. I will say, <clears throat> as an American, this is this is instantly the most exciting soccer game I've ever seen. Oh, son of a come here. Oh no! No, get out in there! No! I gotta turn this sucker around. Oh, son of a gun! No! <laughs> I just like the way they prance. That's my favorite part. This is way better than I thought it would be, and it's not good. But that's. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> Come here, get it. If I could just get the if I could get the rhythm down, I think I'd have something. Oh, get it. Okay, here we go. Don't go out of bounds. No. Oh. It's a 
shame I didn't pick 12 minute quarters. <laughs> hey, while I'm fiddling here, talk amongst yourselves. See if you if there's a game or a, and like I said, uh, no, nothing's off the table here. I'm I'm in the mood for a potpourri reaction. So whatever you'd like to see, arcade console. If I've got it, <clears throat> I will emulate the crap out of it. It's an all emulation special tonight. <laughs> You know, I was <clears throat> I raised a question in Discord a couple hours ago. If people preferred to watch streams and videos of, you know, listen, it takes a certain type of person to want to watch someone play games, you know. And, of course, uh, uh, a lot of times the person you're watching is someone that you, I don't know, find amusing. Uh, but does it matter to you if you're watching someone play on authentic hardware or if it's... Uh, or if it's uh, emulation. <clears throat> oh, gee, many Christmas. <laughs> Z9. <laughs> I love it. That's exactly. The, you're getting the same thought about this I am. Just they're so. It's a, that's the prissiest prance I've seen for quite a while. They do look like they're wearing high heeled shoes. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> As they said in the old Seinfeld. Oh, oh man, I was I had I had a good thing going. It's, it's not easy to be King Dong in this game. Here we go. Oh, what are you doing? Idiot! No, no, no! <clears throat> I gotta get one goal. That's my goal. <laughs> I do like the fact that if you look at the top, it says hoser's time. Stop, hoser time. Uh, no, 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 don't allow it. Don't allow it. Yes. Look at that. Did you see that? Oh, wait, I forgot to hit the ball. It's all. That's right. This the rhythm of this game is just <laughs> This is probably the least smooth soccer game I've ever seen. It's not the it's nowhere near the worst, though it's actually you've got good control. It's just an interesting approach. Oh Anybody in here have an MSX perchance? I'm anxiously awaiting the arrival of my uh, Unamigo with the MSX um, FPGA capabilities. It should be a lot of fun. This is not a system I've played a lot of. Oh no, we forgot the ball. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh no. 55 seconds. Oh, son of a... Dang this other team and their chiseled good looks. No, no. Get it. Here we go. This is it. No! You cagey veteran. Come here. No! This is what gets people to come to my stream. Screaming at prancing <laughs> soccer players. No! Oh, man. Well, I think I'm boned on this one. I got 23 seconds. Let's see if I can get a mercy point. No! I just wanted to get somewhere near the crease. No! Well, I will say, for those of you that haven't played this before, and I had not, if anyone ever asks you if you've ever seen anyone play soccer in high heels, you can tell them you absolutely have. 
Oh, man. Look at that. I can even get the dancing girl there. You know, strange with the, the little... What is she doing? What is that? <laughs> what was that? That's what she does. Just lays back and sticks her legs up in the air. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to look here at the chat that whizzed by while I wasn't looking. <coughs> Pardon me. What, uh, have you guys, anybody want to see anything in particular uh, tonight uh, or right now? Anybody have a request? Uh, I'm ready for any kind of action. And, yeah, is that what that was? The can can? I don't know about that. Uh, if there's anything you'd like to see, though, uh, I'm open for business here. Kind of trying to scroll back up here. We'll see if we see anything in particular. I don't know, I don't know. Okay, well, I'm just going to pick something out then, unless you guys have a thought. Rocky Horror. <laughs> All right. What's a bit of the old Atari 8-bit? That is a close. That's as good as a request as I've heard. Let me see what I got on here. I think I've got the uh, the Atari uh, 5200, the 8-bit equivalent. Let's give that a whirl here. <coughs> All right, Dave. He's kicked a few in. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Try something we haven't played before. That's interesting. Popeye, I've had enough of that. Let's see here. Pyra. That sounds pretty good too. Let's play something really way out there. Mega Mania. If you see something you absolutely want to see, I'm just going to randomly grab something. You know, I, in in honor of Sean Connery, I would play this, but I have played it, and it's not an honor to anyone, unfortunately. It's not good. Not good at all. Um, here's a game we played on ARG one time. This is actually quite a game, if I can remember how to play it. If you haven't seen it, it's called The Dreadnought Factor. And... It's an interesting game. Uh, let's see here. Select level one. Okay. So, what you're doing here is you're actually going after a capital ship and you're trying to knock off all of its weapons and armor to uh, eventually to kill it. That's the plan. Anyway. Now, I believe we played this. I can't remember if I played this on the Atari or the Intellivision. But you make passes at this thing. And I don't mean you ask it out. You know? So that was my first pass. And you've got to, you've got to basically... Yeah, Buck, there you go, my friend. Uh, uh, <clears throat> the Intellivision version of this was pretty good. I'm trying to remember if we played this in the 5200 or... What we played it on. But to, what you want to do is you want to buzz through this thing and knock off as much as you can. Yeah, so I need to I need to get some stuff off this thing like right away. You know, it's on idiot level here, so it's got a forced scroll to it. So I can't I don't want to go any faster. I could go faster. But I want to knock off as much as you only get a certain amount of passes before this dreadnought will be in my home area and it can start to you know, blow up my planet and the game's over. And so one of the first things you need to do is take out the engines, which we're going to try to do. But I think you have to knock out other stuff first. There we go. You can see now you have to bomb some stuff and you can shoot other stuff. That's right. Yeah, exactly, Dave. Oh, yeah, Dave, you haven't tried this? This is a real winner, my friend. You should definitely give this a, wh a whirl. I should have been dropping bombs that whole time. But like I said, I'm a bit rusty because I haven't played it so long. So, you'll notice there are some vents right here. Do you see those vents? Those are what you're going to want to drop your bombs on. See? So, we're going to try to make up for lost time. Normally, we wouldn't want to go this far. 
And then what we're gonna do is to slow this ship down. We're darn sure gonna blow up as many engines as we can. I know this, you're probably thinking to yourself, oh, this Dreadnought's pretty lame right here. Uh, and this one is, you know, this is your early on. Uh, but uh, they trust me that when I tell you, it gets a lot more heated. And we've got to get some of these engines off this thing. Now that will give us, that will buy us some extra time. <clears throat> and you can see, I guess that's the planet. When it, when it gets close enough, you're toast. <clears throat> so, and by the way, as you go on through this, they get more aggressive. Okay, so it looks like I missed a vent here. I think this thing is something. I don't know if it's already blown it up or not. I guess I've already gotten it. These things are something. I missed a two. I see two vents I missed. I'm gonna get these. Do I can get that? No. Okay, I think I can blow it up on this pass. <clears throat> I think. We are putting on the lowest level of difficulty as well. Okay, there's that. Oh shoot, I missed that thing entirely. Oh shoot! I let off the joystick. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is the time I take the sucker out. I think I can get here. These guns out here. Of course, you remember the uh, the 5200 used that crazy but horrible analog stick to do it to play the games on it. And so this is a game that really benefits from emulation because it sucked on the. Uh, I mean, they, those joysticks are all, they're almost impossible to find working ones that are worth a, a darn anymore. Oh, don't. Well, that's what I get. That's pretty bad, even at the, low, at the lowest level. Hey, Rob. Yeah, man. Uh, I recommend this one, though. If you want to try something different, uh, uh, I think this is a fun one. And I will say that one thing that's different in the Intellivision versions is that, as I recall, it's a in, instead of scrolling uh, uh, horizontally, as a vertically, yeah, it scrolls horizontally. So... Kind of nutty, uh, if that's if that's something that interests you. Okay, <clears throat> somebody asked about some C64 stuff. In, in, in lieu of me scrolling back, can someone give me the heads up on a couple of the things that were suggested there? We'll, we'll give them a whirl. Hey, Rob, while you're in here, man, uh, I know I've sent you a message about this, but I really, really enjoyed your, uh, your uh, You Don't Know Flack. That was great. Real, real good stuff with the, uh, with the, uh, uh, musical newspaper story. I, that was a real interesting one, man. <laughs> yeah. Let me see here. Alright, let me, let me have a look back and see this. My memory's no good, fellas, so I'll have to scroll back up to see what it was. Let me see here. Let's see, mail order monsters, racing, destructico, and auto duel. Well, those sound pretty good. <clears throat> Your wife is she's a good hand, my friend. I think she I think that would not she uh, she can move seamlessly into your world, I think. Okay. I don't see mail order monsters. Let's see if I got auto duel. Seems like I looked for Destructico one time. I don't remember having that either, but we'll look. These all sound great. I'd love to try them, but that's just... I'm playing the hand I'm dealt here. Yeah. I don't have that one either. I need to up the, my game here on the old C64. You know, I've got the new build of this. Let's see if it's got better a better selection than this one, just for fun. We'll try it. Let's give that one a whirl. <clears throat> Come on, everything you cover on Sprite Castle, solid gold money uh, there, Flack. I can't imagine it not being awesome. Alright, let's try this here. 
I was running the old one just for the, because I had a more selection, but I, I have upgraded this one quite a bit with the, the computer stuff, so we'll see if they've got any more C64 stuff than we had on the other one. Let's see here. So, Auto Duel was one. And Mail Order Monster. They don't have Auto Duel. And Mail Order Monsters, I think I've heard of that one. Let's see, I don't have that one either. What was the other one? Dest something Destructica? I can't remember what it was. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... That was all the Brent, man. He he got a he got a cool stamp made. It is pretty it's pretty good, man. I will say. You know, since I don't have any of those, I'm just gonna kinda randomly pick a C sixty four game. Listen, you guys, there's a lot of uh there's a lot of people a lot of people in here that like C sixty four, so someone pick me out a real hidden gem here. Just right off the top of your head, throw one out at me and I'll go right to it. Because this is the C64 is a little bit outside the realm of my expertise. I'm still learning. How's the jungle hunt on this one? That's pretty good. Beachhead. Now that we we covered Beachhead one on on ARG, but Beachhead two is a great game. Let's see if they've got it on here. Beachhead. There it is. Let's give this a whirl. The Halcyon. Absolutely. Uh, that was the brainchild of Rick Dyer, who uh, uh, was one of the uh, guys that did the hardware for the uh, LaserDisc uh, systems for uh, the uh, Dragon's Lair and Space Ace. You know, he got his... He's a real... He was a real creative guy, Dyer. Uh, and uh, he... Uh, I'm pretty sure it was Dyer. Uh, he, he started out making these crazy, like, interactive flip books. Uh, <laughs> which I read about when I was researching a Dragon's Lair thing one time. It's pretty neat. Uh, you had a lot of real brainiacs work on that system. Okay. Whoops. I don't know if I started or not. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I think it said hit F1 or something like that. Oh, I'm right now I'm trying to decide where to land my boat, right? Or land my troops. Okay. I remember this. I'm trying to think if we played Beachhead on the C64 when we did it. It's been so long. We've done so many of those ARGs that I they mix together in my head. Different systems. I think Beachhead 2 is more fun. I, 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 I liked it. Uh, but yeah. This, this right here... This is what I envision Ronald Reagan's Star Wars defense system would have been if we needed the naval equivalent, basically. That's what it reminds Just randomly shooting lasers across the bay. This is military spending run amok right here. You're looking at it, if you ever wondered. All right. I will say, if you're going to get killed, you know, I would assume that these guys had, like, some ELO blasting out of the speakers on their boat, you know, or some Pink Floyd. So, I mean, if you're going to go, this is not the worst way to do it. Like, basically, you're part of an interactive laser fantasy. <laughs> yeah. What are those colorful candies you get at the... At the uh, they're pill-shaped, and you get them at the movie theater. I always thought it was strange to have pill-shaped candy. Seems like a bad idea. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> you can tell I've captained many a boat in my day. And by that, I mean I screamed at John. <laughs> oh! Don't hit the dots, for God's sakes. Holy smokes, I lost a lot of guys for that dot. Alright. Oh, no! No, not the dot! Mike and Ike's. That's it. That's, that's exactly it. 
<laughs> Does anyone eat those? Oh no! <laughs> I got a bit overzealous there, I'll admit that. You just you get twelve of your boats through. You just sort of want to you want to get the rest through and move on. Okay. Man, I tell you what, it's a big fleet. Oh no! Yeah, you got that right. I wish I was on that. We'll just wait here. There we go. They can bring it to a full stop. I'd like to be the guy screaming at the helmsman. Left, right, full stop, full forward, straight, turn, 30 degrees starboard. Okay. Keep going, it's my last ship, I think. Oh, oh no, back up. Oh, <laughs> I do have one bone. Oh no. Don't tell me I gotta do that two more times. Uh oh. Does anyone else hear this and just sort of start saying, there's something happening here? <laughs> I'm heading to this B. There we go. Oh, here. Oh, yes. Oh, now, this is pretty neat here, I think. Oh, yeah. I got ammunition, don't I? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I think this is a really... I think graphically, this is top shelf. I mean... <coughs> shoot, caught me a mobile cough. No, no, no. Yeah, you better run. Um, I mean, they do a good job. You get the... This is one of the things that C64 was great at. It's, get, it's got the audio. It's got just enough video to be dangerous. Was that one of mine that I shot down just now? Was I not supposed to do that? I'm... Oh, man. They're just queuing up on me now. Hey, that's a little something for you, pal. Die. There it is. Yeah, yeah. I am supposed to shoot that brown one, right? I mean, that's... Well, I got my boat shot down. That's a kind of a bummer. Just take me to the part where I throw knives. Oh, mm, that ain't good. That ain't good. What is that? Mm. Oh, I'm trying to shoot... Am I shooting that boat or any boat? That could be the pay window right there. <laughs> this is kind of neat. I like this. Uh-oh. I think it's as high as it'll go. Okay, screw you. I'm going to get one of the closer boats. The problem is, I've got, it's hard to gauge how far away you're hitting. Is there an instrument I should be looking at here? I'm sure one of you guys has played this in the past. Oh! 
Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. Oh, no. God, this is nerve-wracking. I can't even get one boat. So it doesn't matter if I go after one that's shooting at me or not, right? I mean, I... Maybe I should just try, just to... I think he's gonna get me here. He's not doing well here. Oh, I got one. Finally. Come on. Oh, yeah. Hey, Winda! This guy doesn't look like he's very far away at all. Let's try if we can... Can I shoot that guy? I didn't even see a splash. Not hitting this guy. I haven't zoned right in. I'm sure. Like, there he goes. All right, big boy. One more. This guy's way out there. Come on. Come on. Oh, okay. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. This has got to be it. Shoot. That's a real bummer, man. I thought I had it. That's a frustrating game. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I don't even remember doing that on ARG. I don't even remember that part. I remember the other part of it. I bet we played it. We may have played this on something else that didn't have that. That was fun, though, man. It was irritating, and infuriating, frustrating. I always love this game. Anybody here read BC back in the day? I mean, when we had funny papers. I'm sort of dating myself there. God, this is another one. I don't know why I've got two of those. Someone asked about playing Barbarian. I see. This is Barbarian Part Two. Was this a two-disc game? Is that what this is? Let's see if we. Let's 
start this thing. Oh! Alright, man, yeah. Good theme. That's it, man. Oh, I thought I was playing. What am I waiting on here? I'm not sure how to start this exactly. Is it, am I playing it here? Oh, I am playing. Okay. Whoops. Okay, I remember that trick. You punk. Oh! This guy's eating my lunch. Yeah, <laughs> that's what you get, son. I like going for the death shot. Oh, there it is. Ha ha ha! Yeah. I don't know if you guys do. You guys remember the uh, the enhanced Amiga versus that came out a few years ago? It's really good, and I think the guy was just giving it away too. You could get obsessed with that shot. I'll admit that. And I do often. I like the bikini girl they've got up there alongside the bald wizard guy. Clearly these clearly someone had watched some Conan. You get off me, headbutt. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Take it to the money bank. I didn't like Barbarian 2 that much. What's up, soup? Holy smokes, how are you doing, man? Oh, he felt the breeze. That move I wish they didn't put in the game. The roll like an idiot maneuver. I never liked that. <laughs> I'm on a roll. Take it out. I think every machine got a port of this. Every piece. Every PC. Because I'm sure I had this for the... Uh, I'm sure I had a Tandy version of this when I had the old Tandy. Guys get a little smarter. Yeah, I ain't falling for that. Oh, I love that move. Ow. Oh. Man, he is going all rocket on me. Oh no, he tried to give me the business. No, not this time. That's the only one you need, Rob. Swing sword at sucker's head after after a gratuitous spin. You punk. Come here. Get a gummit. This guy's not screwing around. Yeah. Get off me. You have to corner me and just beat the tar out of me? Yeah. Yeah, he ain't buying that. Get off me. Yeah. Uh-oh. Wasn't a clean cut. Oh. Yeah, how's your pelvis, sir? It takes a tough man to walk away from a sword shot to the pelvil region. Uh-oh, it's not looking good for old A. Oh, no. No. Oh, man. Man, when the lizard guy bad mouths you, you know it's went south. Oh, <laughs> you're on <laughs> I understand, Rob. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's try something else here. Let's move off this, uh... Let's see what else we've got here in the computer zone. You know, there's a... We haven't played a whole lot of these, uh... Uh, uh... DOS games here. Oh, pull up Kung Fu Master? Okay. I could do that. Let's see here. Let's see if it's in here. Oh, here we go. Love this in the arcade, by the way. I <clears throat> uh, played the crap out of this back in the day. If you've ever seen uh, Bruce Lee's... Uh, Game of Death. Is that the one that was... The one where he died when they were making it? 
Okay. Look at all this stuff. One player. Yeah, that looks good. <coughs> oh, whoops. I'm not exactly sure how to start this thing. <laughs> Plus, okay. Let me find out how to start this thing real quick. And I don't think I need the fake keyboard here. I don't know why it keeps coming up. Oh, whoops. I did something wrong, didn't I? Enter. Okay, I can use the fake keyboard if it demands it. I mean, I'm... There. Why don't we start this again and see if I can not screw up the menu. Let's try this again. Oh, you like this one, did you, Soup? Okay. Okay, that does that. I bet this is one of those bits where you have to have the... Oh, here we go. Okay. Well, I don't know what's going on. This is emulation for you. Now, what did you say to hit? I missed that. Hit Shift G. Okay. Uh. Oh, that's what it did. It did that. That is weird. This is what happens when you put a fancy friend in on something. Sorry, Flack. I don't know what the hell... I don't know what's going on with that. That does that, but I can't figure out how to actually switch to get down to start game from here. Let me hit enter with the uh, fake keyboard. Let's see here. You know, people always... Ask, I, it's funny, like I said, I just talked about this. Uh, uh about emulation versus real hardware and often you would think that real that emulation is easier and better but i have found over the years that in all honesty <laughs> often real hardware is just as easy all right all right shift g oh my god he's got a gun <laughs> you're kidding me <laughs> okay all right, that was worth the effort, I'll have to say. <laughs> that is a new one, I'll have to say. <laughs> oh, my God. I did not expect that. Oh, no! <laughs> what? what? Did you see that? <laughs> And Rob, what did Rob? How did you find out about that? Is this a research thing? Oh, look, there was the. I guess once you use the gun, you're pretty much toast. Anybody else know about that? That's magnificent. <coughs> I was kind of hoping I could beat the level by just shooting everything. Oh no. Let's see if we can get all the way to the end. Nope, I'll, I guess I'm out of bullets. <laughs> it's not working anymore. Oh, there it went. That's thumbs up right there. I endorse that maneuver. That was great. <laughs> okay. I'll tell you something, fellas. You learn something every night. You learn something every night. <laughs> Who loves DOS? Everybody, right? Let's see if we can find one of these crazy DOS games to see if we can get it to work. I make no uh, promises, by the way. Hey! Raid coming in. Hi, fellas. How's it going, man? Thanks for coming in and checking me out, man. I appreciate it. We're just uh, 
playing some random weird stuff, man. You know, there's my game. We were played this on stream. Let's see if we can actually get it to stream. The DOS box stuff, I'm never sure if it's going to work or not. Oh, yeah, man. Here's my guy. <laughs> Boat well, always gives me crap about bye, this bye. game. I really do think it's the best PC uh, combat game ever made. Oh, no! Wow, see how great I am at it? It always takes me a few minutes to get warmed up. Oh, 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 oh good God! Oh, yeah. Puh! You win. <laughs> Round two. Fight. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, man. This is an all-time stone cold classic right here. This game really comes if you play campaign mode. I mean the campaign mode this is unbelievable. You get to work you get to spruce up your mech. And change its appearance, just customize its moves. It is awesome. Uh, and you get to fight people you normally won't see with mechs you normally won't see. So, you know, that's what makes it kind of neat. You know, we've talked about that before, Flack. The problem is, this is a controversial statement. Uh, we have played that, actually. Uh, I think we, me and Boat played it. But the problem, and listen, I know if you got a guy like uh, the LGR guy or whatever, they they go on about these old DOS well, games. Well, listen, I, I had an Amiga, man, and it put most DOS games back in the day, it crushed them. Because I grew up playing DOS games, so it always, that's why I was always stunned with all the DOS nostalgia, especially for the really old DOS stuff. I mean,. Listen, I, it's not good. I mean, they I, some people may like it. Hey, some people have different strokes, different folks. But I don't like it, man. The stuff, the the 486, I mean, there's some there's gonna be some diamonds in the rough. Round two. But I mean, if you ever want to appreciate your C64 or your Amiga, go play some old CGA Jeopardy or something. Because I mean, that's what we used to play back in the day. It was not good. Now the PC obviously came around, and if you're gonna do a DOS sh show. And concentrate on like the 90s. You got something there, but if you go before that, you're really, you're you're having a rough like, uh, <coughs> what's that game? Um, shoot, there's a there's a very popular uh, uh, platformer for the PC. What's it's that kid? I can't remember the kid's name. We just Run passed one. him. I'll load it up. But I mean, I remember playing these games, and I was like, "These are crap. <laughs> these, these are horrible. All those Jills of the Jungle and stuff. I mean, I never thought they were that good. You know, I mean, if you got nostalgia for them, we all got to, you know, everybody's got their own thing. But I mean, just you know, if you could, after playing other stuff, I thought they just weren't that good. Commander Keen, that's it, man. Oh man, this guy's beating me like you owed him money. Come here. I'm not paying enough attention. Uh oh, yeah. <laughs> a lot of people don't know it, but there's a secret guy you can Round fight if you if you perform the right maneuver in this room. The floor opens up. Oh yeah, boy, come here. This is a great two-player game too. I mean, oh man, this guy's just eating my lunch. Get off me. Gotta get some jack here. Here we go. <laughs> man, I on Hercules. Oh man, I don't know. There, I, I think it almost really played like that with that stuff because at least you get. I mean, that's a, a, a. It can be crisp. You know, when me and Boat covered that on when we did a uh, we did a Mac game on one of the old old ARGs that Boat was on. Glider, I think's what it was. And I mean, the, I'm no Mac fan, as you guys know, but I mean, 
it was a good looking game, man. I mean, you can do a lot on. Oh no. Ugh. You can do a lot on those monochrome yeah. things if you if you do it right. And in a lot of ways, it looks sharper than the old CGA. I mean, CGA is just ugly. There's no way of getting around it. <coughs> yeah, Wing Commander was the big leap. I remember... I knew the writing was on the wall, but when, when there wasn't an Amiga version of X-Wing, I was like, well, we're boned. We're well, boned, we were. Bye. Bye. I always thought this guy was cool, Shadow. I'd love to see an updated version of this. This had network play too, which I always thought was cool. I never got to do it, but... The PC, we were so desperate for, uh, for good fighting games that when this came out, it was like sent from heaven. I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah, man. You got good taste, dude. Round two. Fight. Fight. It was tough to be a fighting game fan and also have a PC. That was a bit, not a good combination. Eat it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, man. I don't blame you. I mean, I was sort of the same way. I didn't have... Growing up, I had like a... Uh, I had a Tandy, and, and my brother had a Nintendo, you know. Uh, and I never played with a Nintendo, hardly. I was more of a computer guy. But well, I mean, I, well, you fine. know. And Roy, I was never super impressed with the NES. I know Boat just thinks it's the, it's the bomb. And I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I play certain titles now, and I think it's really good. But I mean, I, when I was a kid, I didn't, or younger, I didn't see that many NES games that like made me think, "Oh my God, I gotta have one of these." <laughs> a lot of it was just what you were exposed to, you know. Sango, you know, I think I've heard of that. I had. I'll tell you another one I got on here. I don't know if I've got it installed, but I've got a, a, a game on here called Pray for Death. That was a it's a it's a killer instinct knockoff. In fact, I've got I own the game. I bought it. I did a Amigos play on it. If you ever want to see it, I don't have it installed on Coin Ops, so I can't show it. But it was a pretty decent game. I mean, if you don't mind baloney, uh, but it was fun. Yeah, I had Thexter. Th Tandy. One thing Tandy had was a 16 color video and the good sound. So. Bye. That spared me from a lot of the horrible CGA as long as the stuff supported the Tandy graphics and the Tandy sound. But a lot of stuff didn't support it. That was always a bummer. But it was always nice when you came across something that did. Alright, this guy is cool. Kronos. Something else that's neat in this game is that since you're picking a pilot and a mech, the different, the different combinations will, will lend themselves to your play style. I always love the sound effects in this, too. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Round two. Bye. You're kidding me on the 1200. No kidding. I always wondered if they had one that would place... I, you know, I emulated stuff on the Amiga, but it was mostly like Max or DOS. You know, I had a... Uh, at once card in my, in my Amiga. I'm trying to what was it. What's the 1000? That let you do like, but I mean, it was still CGA. Oh, you punk. That was a good move. Goodbye. There he goes. You win. Yeah. You know, uh, Svev, if you ever get a chance, there's a guy on uh, YouTube that made a video. And it's all about the campaign portion of this game and how the statistics work. It is unbelievable. If you're a, I mean, it, it's more like a mathematic exercise than it is, but it, it's all about this game, and it's great. We just came out like a year or two ago. If you ever look it up, it's really good. Round one. Bye. Bye. There it is. Eat it. My buddy used to play this guy all the time. He drove me nuts. This guy and the guy with the chains. Oh, come here. As soon as I lose one of these, I'm, we're going to move on. But I'm having a good run. Play it till I die. Yeah, eat it. 
I think I've got this a world class too, so I've got it on pretty. I've got it on a pretty high setting. Round two. Fight. This is one game, fighting game or a game of any type, where you actually the sound effects do a good job. They make you feel the impact and the severity of the blow real well. Those clangs and stuff. I just love the sound. I think it's one of my favorite sounding games of all time. I was always disappointed in the background, so I thought they could do more to make them more epic or you know bigger looking, you know. But I guess they had certain limitations. <clears throat> this guy's Round weird. One. Fight. Fight. Come here. Ugh. <laughs> I love doing that. Oh, nice. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That move, for, that throw will get you killed more often than not. I got lucky there. Yeah. <laughs> Round two. Fight. Fight. There it is. I love the throw, but it's hard to pull off. Watch this. I'm trying to pull it off here. I like just kicking this ball. It went away. There it is. <laughs> oh. There you go, get out of here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I had a 486 that was a it was actually a 386 with a with a uh, special chip that let you play it was a 486 chip that fit a 386 slot. Uh, because it was cheap. Because so effectively you were putting a you had a 386 motherboard with a 46 chip in it. Um it did the job, you know, but Round it wasn't a one. full, Fight. I mean, it was a full 46, sort of, but I mean, that was the first non-Tandy PC I ever bought, and I was on a mega tight budget. That was when I first was working at IBM. I remember when they delivered that PC, I lived in this sort of seedy apartment building, apartment complex. I just came home one day, and the lady across the hall that I'd never talked to one time, she says, hey, some delivery men left this huge box outside your door and some guys were eyeballing it and so I brought it in. And so I was like, oh man. <laughs> I was like, because that would have sucked big time. Come here. That's a cool looking that's a, like his color scheme. He has to die. Oh man, he just beat me like a dog. No! Get off me. Oh no! Yeah, that's your, that's your tail. Anybody ever have a Visa Local bus card in their computer? You guys remember those? Round three. Bye. They were sort of, uh, the Visa Local bus standard wasn't around very long. Uh, but they were huge. The, the, uh, the uh, cards were incredibly long. And I had, I had a Hercules Dynamite 128. I thought I was the man. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> yeah, this hurt. I mean, this was the first uh, b boutique graphics card that I ever bought. Was this Hercules Dynamite 128? Uh, really, two of them. I mean, I knew they had multiple slots, but what would you, what would you put in the other one, man? So you, so you put a memory expansion card in one. Was it? What did it draw a lot of power? Or what was the problem with having two of them? I was nowhere near. Oh, this is the boss right here. He made you switch to PC. Diabolical. This guy's tough. If I could beat him, I'll be laughing. He cheats too, like a dog. Oh, there it is. He's got range like you wouldn't believe. Oh yeah, I got him now. One more blow. There it is. Sting, Stingray. Yes. I remember those. 
Yeah, man. Yeah, I told you. It's, well, it's, yeah, it's got great. Bye. The sound is just awesome on this. Look at that. She, yeah, he gets real pissed off in the second round. Oh, there it is. Get off me. Gotta get in on him. My play style is sort of rush the guy style. So, oh, that's my, yeah. Look at that. Look at that uppercut. Yeah, he would. Round three. Fight. I like to make it bowling shoe ugly, Sue. Much like myself. There it is. Here we go. I think I can get him. I think I can get him. No, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, you lose. Oh, there it is. I gave it the college try, y'all. I know what I'm licked. <laughs> that was cool. I dug that. No, we'll quit while we're ahead. You could probably see a trend there. <laughs> and that's that was just on this build. Frack, eh? I shall look. Thank you, my friend. I'm glad to see some guys. I'm glad to see some of you guys remember this one, man. It makes me happy. Let me see if I've got that, man. Let me see here. Uh, the BBC Micro. I do have the BBC on here. Let me see. What's it called again? Frack? I make no promises. No, I don't think I got it. What's good on the old on the Beeb, y'all? <clears throat> anybody anybody want to see anything on the Beeb while we're here? Some of this stuff looks pretty good, man. I mean, not bad at all. <laughs> oh, Rob, come on now. It's just <laughs> we're just having a good time. Listen, it's a rough time in the, in the states, man. Uh, if you're like me, Rob, I didn't sleep a wink uh, on on third on uh, what, what Wednesday morning, Tuesday into Wednesday, which is killing me. And <clears throat> and uh, the the election is just it's just I've never been so nervous, you know. And then uh, the COVID thing, it's a real bummer. And I just you know trying to stay positive. <clears throat> Uh, it's tough, uh, but we do the best we can, and, uh, I, I like to just sit down and play games, and especially on these streams with everybody, uh, telling me the good stuff, you know, so it's a lot of fun, man. Yeah, I can dig it, dude. Uh, and the funny thing is, I'm home a lot more than I used to be, and I still, and I get less sleep than I've ever gotten. It's the darndest thing. <clears throat> Let's see here. Um... Press S to start. Let's see if they've got this map to the stick. I bet they do. These guys are pretty thorough. You got that right, Soup. Look at that. Now, as I recall, you want the eggs, and you sort of want to avoid the... Man, this controls... This is... <laughs> this was, As I recall, this was the uh, flagship release of this particular game. This what what this was a beeb game, wasn't it, boys? Uh, stop me if I'm wrong. It's been a while since I co we covered it on the show, uh, but I believe this was the big release, and it's it is good. <clears throat> uh, no man, this is just a, a straight up PC. Uh, I'm using the CoinOps Two uh, system, which is just the CoinOps. Of course, is a very nice customized front end. That the it's actually coin ops next to I'll give them <laughs> their full credit uh, and they what they do is they'll go through and they'll can they can pretty much configure everything at, you know theoretically and then all you have to do is just play and I like to use it when I just want to get something where I don't have to stop and start over and over and just, and just I can play a bunch of different stuff so but I like it it's available if you look around and you know. If you're into that gray area stuff, I mean, we all know what it is. It's a, it is what it is. I don't want the BBC police coming to get me, but it's true. <clears throat> all right, but the seeds do stop the uh, ostriches, right, or whatever they are. I always thought that was a good reason to leave them. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, Buck, thank you, my friend. That's why you're my favorite country singer. 
Actually, darn good guitarist. Okay. Anyway, I got in this a little bit earlier, but I often, for for the folks that came in that aren't real familiar with the way we do a, I do a stream on here, quite a bit I'll, I'll just run with authentic stuff. There's a lot of stuff I don't have. Uh, uh, and the BBC is one of them. I don't have a BBC Micro, uh, which would be cool to get one, man. Uh, but, uh, uh, so occasionally I'll do some emulation, or just when I feel like, you know, playing some stuff that I don't have. I'd say, <clears throat> you know, I'll have to show you between rounds here. I got, uh, one of these new light guns in the mail. Um, the, uh, brand new light guns that work with the, uh, the LCD screens. Uh, gosh, I can't remember who makes these darn things. Uh, but they're, they seem they're, I've heard that they're great. I've got one sitting in the floor beside me, and I haven't actually tried it yet. I mean, I plugged it in, but that's as far as I got. Um, oh, man. That's going to be tough to get there. Oh, not good. So, but one week very soon, we were going to have light gun night. That'll be kind of neat. I like light gun stuff. What's the easiest way to get to that? I want a timer here too, eh? I guess, can I come off that ladder? Yeah. I love Confidential Mission, by the way. That's I'm surprised you said that. Have I talked about that, or is that just one of your favorites? I don't know if I have... Shoot. I think Confidential Mission is a lot of fun. Yeah, I say. Yeah, no kidding, dude. I think that's an, an interesting... You know, I guess you guys still pay that, don't you? I mean, is that... There it is. Uh, I, that, I mean, I assume that's something that's still ongoing, paying the paying the TV license uh, deal. Oh, shoot. I remember it specifically... I think the first place I ever heard about the TV license was the young ones. When the, because the young ones didn't have a, a license, and so they had Vivian eat the television. Son of a gun! <clears throat> you would think I would stop doing that, and yet here I do, here I go. Gosh. Woohoo! <laughs> Gotta hurry, gotta hurry. There we go. Oh no! You know, I love Minor 49er, Minor 2049er. I think that is pretty well documented. And this game is very similar, except for my suckery. Game over. I didn't do very good at that, but uh, I got up at my initials in anyway. That's a good game. That's the and that's probably the best version I've played. There's a version of this out for the Coco, which surprised me, uh, to be honest with you. Let me see what you guys have. Ha ha ha! No kidding. Oh, so they had that in the Netherlands as well, eh? That's interesting. I didn't. I never knew that. And Finland? No kidding. So that was a pretty big thing in Europe. Over here, they don't. The government doesn't tax us for TV. We just get sc repetitively screwed by the cable companies. And if you don't have cable, uh, but you want internet, the cable companies screw you at that point. Uh, <laughs> we, <laughs> the amount of money we pay. I mean, I don't have cable TV because I mean I can't afford it. Uh, just, just for my, I've got a internet connection, which you're looking at, and you guys that, you guys that know me, know that the internet here is crap. Uh, got, that's been well documented. <clears throat> uh, and I'm still paying, uh, over 100 US dollars a month, and that's with a, uh, my own modem. So, there you go. It is, uh, 1025 here. You were asking me that. 
Let's see what we can get into on the old Atari. I haven't tried these yet. I just installed this, so let's see what we can find here. <clears throat> He's a night owl, dude. <laughs> you know, they're playing Bruce Lee on the Spectrum. I've been wanting to try that. This is a perfect opportunity. Let's see if I've got it. I hope I do. If not, we'll have to try. Uh, Dead gummit. Never. You can be darn sure for something I want to play on one of these things. You can be darn sure it's not going to be on there. That's a, that's amazing. Well, what did I just see it on? The Atari. Ah, oh, we've played that though so many times. Let's try something new. Whoa, Bigfoot. Anybody ever play this? Go out of world. Do you guys, folks that are in here now, and I know a lot of you guys are in Europe. Holy smokes! Yeah, Rob, you've got cable TV and internet. Yeah, so I mean, we're all getting a, getting screwed. That's why I don't have cable TV, and it, I'm assuming Rob that you probably have maybe a pay channel or two uh, in there. Of course, they're all getting their money because I've got Netflix. I've got the WWE Network, I've got Hulu, I've got the Disney Channel, you know. So there's another 40 bucks. Uh, uh, oh, uh, Amazon Prime, you know, that, that channel. So, you know, everybody's getting their cut. Let's see here. Okay, don't touch those. Got it. Collect the gold. Does the button do anything? No. I don't know what that does. Oh, man, he's on me. So that must be big, but I guess it's just represented by a couple big feet. <coughs> the problem we have here in the States is um, they, the people that they put in charge of the FCC, for example, uh, are all former cable executives. And uh, so they're clearly, uh, they have a... Uh, slanted opinion of the way things should be. On top of everything else, the cable companies over here are one of the top lobbyists year in, year out, along with the big pharma and these other guys. And so, when there's that kind of money in play, uh, and money to be made, they're gonna make it, you know? And so, they gut uh, people like myself and all the other little guys out there. There's something that can be done. Hey, Dave. I'm sorry you've got insomnia, man. Listen to the docile tones of me and drift bl into a blissful slumber. That's my speciality. Literally boring people into a coma. This is a simple... It's like a pretty simple game. It's funny that the fire... Oh, there's, I found the pause button. Uh, it seems like you just run around and pick up stuff. It's sort of a, uh, it's sort of kind of like a non-violent Robotron. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. I don't know what that spirally thing does. This is going to be tight. Yeah, I don't think I can make that. That was dumb. I had a good thing going. I bet Boats played this. Oh, you're building a PC? What kind of PC are you building? I shouldn't have looked at the message there. I am I was overly impressed with Bigfoot. Let's see what else we can get into. Are you building a classic PC, uh, Dave? Or is this a uh, modern PC? I'd be interested to know. Let's see here. Oh, Beetle, what am I saying? You just bought a complete inbox, like new copy of Beetle Adventure Racing. You mean for the, uh, what is it, the N64? That's actually a good game. I kind of dig that game. Let's see here. Oh, man. <coughs> we put this on ARG a couple months ago, and it was so much fun. Is that what that's going for these days? 60 bucks for that? That's crazy, man. Who did who to thunk it? Let's see if I 
remember how to play this. There we go. I think this is a neat title. There we go. <laughs> yeah, man, get some rest. Whoops. Thanks for popping in, man. I appreciate it. Back here, Mr. TV. There we go. Hey, take it easy, dude. Glad to see ya. You guys remember this one from a couple months ago? My dad was an electrician, and so I actually remember playing this from back in my childhood. <laughs> actually. I don't remember much. Oh no, swing and a miss. Dead gummit. Go on to my desk. Do you collect for the N64 bone? Or is this just, do you just have uh, a, a prime selection of stuff there? Oh, you stupid little freaks. Yeah, that's what you get, pal. <laughs> your dad did a lot of stuff there, Rob. He was a... One thing I like about your stories is that your dad... See, my dad isn't wasn't tech-savvy at all. And so it's neat that you're... Because your dad was like right at the pentacle of tech-savvery. You know, it's kind of neat to hear what that was like. <clears throat> Oh, yes, I forgot about this crazy thing. The least violent alligators of all time are in this sewer. The hard thing is finding a stupid key down here. I always have trouble. I won't look for too long. Let's... That's it, Frodo. That's right. Yeah, man. So you gotta find the key. Brent was always great at this part. I, I never had any luck, Harley. Infuriating. Let's know where the other house is at. Hmm. Well, you know, we played, in all honesty, we played a lot of Odyssey 2 uh, early on. That's what we had. So, we would play uh, minor, tw or shoot, not close. We would play uh, Pickaxe Pete uh, a lot. We played the, that, we had this multi-cart for the Odyssey, if you can believe that. It was it had uh, uh, crypt, crypt, cryptography, auto chase, and something else. I can't remember. But they were like these, you know, over the top, overhead, real rudimentary car games. We played that, um, you know, just a lot of that stuff. And then as we got older, <clears throat> and he got in his his Super Nintendo, uh, we got we played a lot more fighting stuff. Shoot, uh, we played a ton of Street Fighter, just tons. We would have a huge house full of people playing Street Fighter uh, back in the day. Uh, that was that was our game. I mean, I I can't tell you the amount of times that we played that. In fact, I've mentioned this on the show somewhere out in the arcade. I've got our original Street Fighter Two cartridge that I'll beat him in in a game of Street Fighter. I, I we put it up for grabs. Whoever wins this is the out straight out owner of that game, and I ended up beating him. If we did that now, I would. I'm afraid I would get. I would get probably. I don't know. I, I'm a pretty good hand at Street Fighter Two. Brent pretty much beats me at almost every other fighting game, um, but Street Fighter Two, I was I was a good hand. Um, we played a lot of, we played pro wrestling for the uh, NES. I remember playing that with him some when he'd rent it. Wizards and Warriors, I think it's a game. We played that. 
uh, a lot, you know, back in the day. I think I got Aussie 2 1 here. I'm sure I can remember some other ones we we looked at. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you know, we had a good time, uh, man, uh, back in the day. Uh, but we would get into some heated contests. And, you know, sometimes it would get violent. <laughs> you know, let me see here. I can run through some of these we used to play. Um, Pickaxe Pete. That's that's one of the better games for the for the, for the system. It's, a, it's just a great game. Uh, we played that one a lot. Uh, Casey Munchkin, we played a lot. That was fun. Uh, this one here. No, no, not that one. There's another one. There's another Space Invaders type game. And it, what I liked about it is... Let's see, where is that thing? <clears throat> When you die in this, uh, you get here. It is Alien Invaders Plus. Let's try this. This has this is just your basic Space Invaders, but the with the twist. Uh, and the twist is, uh, let me see here. That's probably a little loud. Let me see if I can turn that down real quick. It's funny they don't have the joystick set up in this one. Um, the funny, I'm not going to, it's too loud to play, but when you get killed, uh, you turn into a little man. <clears throat> and when you run under one of those boxes and pull down a joystick or pull up, you get a new ship. That's, but it goes away. And eventually, you have no barriers, and you're on your last ship. And when you get shot again, you just become the little man. And all you can do is just run back and forth and try not to get shot. That's And that's it. And I remember Brent would make me so mad because I'd be waiting to play it. And he would refuse to let those guys shoot him as the little man. He would just keep running around. You know, so that was an <laughs> something else I remember quite a bit. But yeah, we grew up playing a lot of Odyssey. <coughs> we played Mario, uh, Duck Hunt. We played a lot of that. You know, the ones that came with it. Um, looking through these other ones here to see if anything rings a bell. We, I remember renting this. I, by the way, you guys, I don't know if this stuff's any good, uh, the ones I'm going to mention, but I remember playing them. Um, there's so many NES games, jeez. I mean, I played a lot of this stuff, but not on the NES. Like, um, let me see here. We played baseball. Um, we played one of the baseball games, the, not none of those. I don't remember which one. Uh, Battletoads, I remember playing that one. Uh, yeah, Atlantis was good on there. Uh, Atlantis is great on the Intellivision, Frodo. If you've never played that one, that's a good one. Um, let me see here. A lot of the stuff I would see him rent, but I had no interest in it. I mean, to be honest with you. Um, let me see. I remember him renting this. I didn't like that in the arcade. Um, I know there's a couple other ones. I know there was one. I think it was... Let me see if it's called Wizards and something. I'm pretty sure it was called Wizards and Warriors. Let's see here. Ah, there it is. Yeah, let's just try this. <laughs> I remember this, but I don't remember anything about it. Let's see if it's any good here. It's funny how, like, a large... Like, the NES was no great shakes in Europe, I guess. You know, which is understandable. <clears throat> I remember playing this game and being infuriated because it was so freaking hard. I always thought, anyway. But a lot of those games were just, if you weren't used to them, they were harder than they probably would be now. I remember that. One thing about this game is, this, was the, is how far you fall when you miss a jump. And it used to just drive me absolutely bonkers. In fact, I'm already getting driven bonkers by falling one time. Like I said, I always thought this game was really tough. These games where you have to jump straight up like this, and you, and then you have to fall all the way down. I mean, it just... I hate it. I hate that. I hate that play style. I guess that means I... Yeah, this is all coming back to me. Oh, what's the music in this? Is, is awesome. It's got great tunes. Anybody ever play this? Does anybody this ring a bell? I know you guys probably like the biggest NES crowd. Everybody has their thing. I'm sure Boat would remember it. Boat's a big NES, NES maniac. Love this stuff. 
I don't know what that thing is. Whoops. Shoot. I do like the idea. This is back in the day where you actually getting to go into stuff would be kind of neat. You know, as opposed to just having to be decoration. That's always a thing with me. I'm going to try this one more time before I rage quit. Like this jump here. What is that all about? What is that? I'm not going to ask. Ugh. Oh, man. I remember doing this hundreds and hundreds of times. Oh. And what, it, what would suck is when you got to the top. I think there's a key up here, if I'm not mistaken. Getting up to the top and then getting killed by one of these stupid spiders. Let's you get out of here. I don't know what those things are. I do recall, I swear, I think this is like an impossible jump up here somewhere. Because I remember Brand you could do it, and I never could. Oh, there's the door out. Oh, son of a gun, get off me. Well, that's not bad. Oh, there, and there's the key to the chest at the bottom. So theoretically, I should be able to fall. I like your your knight's reclined position when he's falling too far. He's like, ah. There it is. Bam. I'm not saying go out of your way to find it. It got a sequel. I mean, does that mean... I don't know if that means much on the NES, but... It's a good tune. That looks like an owl bear or an owl ch or a chicken bear. If you're a D&D &D fan. <laughs> To be honest with you, I'm not 100% sure. Oh. Okay. I think I need 100 diamonds to leave. Oh, no. I'm throwing a night fit. <laughs> All right. Enough of that. Well, there you go. <laughs> uh, did I play any proper RPGs? A yeah, Burrow Owl. I'll take your word on that one, Rob. Um... I did play... Well, it depends on your definition of proper RPGs, Dave. Um, I played PC RPGs. Um, Eye of the Beholder, uh, Bard's Tale, 1. Um, what else did I play back in the day? Some of the, I tried the Gold Box series. I, I did play through Pool of Radiance, I think was the one I did. But I, I wouldn't sit here and say I enjoyed it. And I probably wouldn't do it again, if, I, if I'm honest. Uh, I don't know, man. I, it's, I, I think I've got a... Uh, oh, God, the Dead Milkman. Oh, I think that's why I didn't get it. But also, I hadn't thought about those guys for a long time. Uh, I think the last thing I remember from them was... that was it, Didn't they have an album called Methodist Coloring Book? And I remember that, I remember that album. And then they had Punk Rock Girl was their hit after they'd been putting out a bunch of garbage for decades. I look at the, I look at the Dead Milkman like a, a much more talented uh, version of the Butthole Surfers, and by and by that I mean it's one of these bands that sort of exist on the periphery of my knowledge that I thought was a real goofy, just kind of stupid band that somehow managed to get a hit before they went away forever. So I put them in the same, I put them in the same stack. Like King Diamonds, another one. <laughs> like what? Hit. Take it easy, Frodo. Good luck. Sleep well, man. Let's try. Uh, let's see here. Boy, there's a lot of good stuff here. Let's see. Let's try a Master System game, man. Let's have a better world. The Master System. This is a cool system. I've got one of these sitting right behind me, actually. God, Alf. Man, I hated that show. People loved it, though. This must be super popular in Europe. I think that's where he came from. The Asterix series of comics or cartoons. Why am I not surprised that you bought a King Diamond album? One thing I liked about King Diamond, though, is like he had that whole idiotic, satanic, rock and roll gimmick. And eventually... 
he knew how stupid it was, and just it became sort of campy, which I like. <laughs> so I'm gonna give King Diamond credit. Was it King Diamond? Let me think. Help me out here, Rob. I remember seeing a video. It was so good, and I think it was a King Diamond video, but it could have been somebody else. But in the video, someone's playing poker, and this this guy who runs this town puts his daughter in the pot. And King Diamond lays down an ace and another ace and a third ace and a fourth ace. And he just gets up, takes the girl, throws in the back of his car or whatever, drives off. And the dad just sits there with a dumb look on his face. And finally, he turns over the unturned card and it was a fifth ace. <laughs> the guy had cheated him. And he took he took the guy's daughter and drove off. I always thought that was a cool, cool music video. Anybody here that likes this system, that if you know a good hidden gem or something I hadn't played before, man, I'd be I'd love to play it. Just to get us started, though, as I shift through these, let's try. What is this, Danan? Let's try Danan. I never heard of this one. Oh man, this is not a good way to start a game with the Legend of Morolos. Yeah, Bank Panic. That is a good one. Enough of this. Alright. I like the music there. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! <laughs> Dave, you got it, buddy. Hey, it's not over. Okay, we got a jump and a stab. That's all you need. Oh, this looks like a... Uh, someone must have been playing... Uh, um, what was the name of that stupid game? It'll come to me. It looks like it's Christmas time on that hut there. Oh boy, that doesn't look easy. <laughs> Burning? Hey, alright, we made it. No, it's not Rygar I'm thinking of. It's the one where you can play the ninja or the, uh, um, warrior. What is the name of that stupid game? I play it all the time. Cadash. Cadash. Remember Cadash? I think they made Cadash for the. Uh, oh no! Swing and a miss. Get off me, man. Always with the bats. Ugh. Oh, 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 no! Hidden platforms. Oh, God! Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, man, that is. Those things fall fast. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I really caught... Oh, no. That's all that's here? I hope that potion's good. Ah! It wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it. The floor is literally lava. No, oh, no, bad, bad, no! Could you get off me? I mean, I don't know if I'm... Yeah, let's go back up above ground. <coughs> well, that doesn't seem fair. Talk about a cheap shot. Would you? It's a hot chick attack. Lay down arms. What was that? Looks like you got a chest full of baloney. Ah, spider. This is truly a deadly world. Let's see what's in here. These must be Amazons or something. <coughs> I have a feeling the second I go up this ladder, she's going to shoot that arrow at me. I knew it. Ow! Come here. Okay, monkey head. Got it. Time to go to Raiders of the Lost... Or go to uh, Tip of Doom, I should say. This doesn't look too good. Can, I don't... Ah! Oh, no! Hey, Del Morte. How's it going, dude? Oh! We're playing Danon. Or being schooled violently by N Danon. Another monkey head. We're eating big tonight. <coughs> I 
I gotta say that was disgusting. If you've ever seen the original, I think it was the original Faces of Death, that horrible, horrible, so, that horrible film, which was reproductions of incredibly violent things, that was all the rage back in the, in the U.S. in the 80s. Everyone had to watch all the stupid uh, Faces of Death videos, and I watched a couple myself, and I didn't have any interest in them, but I watched them. Uh, they were always, like, when you went to a slumber party or something, you can be darn sure you're going to see a Friday the 13th and a Faces of Death. That's just what you watch at these things. But I remember there was, there was one where they were eating the old monkey brains. I wonder if anyone actually does that. I mean, it may be a delicacy somewhere, but I, I can't imagine it being something you would do, eat very often. Seems like a good way to get a very bizarre, weird disease. Well, I don't know what to do from up here. This seems important. Screw it! Uh-oh. I think I chose poorly. Oh, no, maybe not. Oh, God! Bad attack! So long... Aw. Oh. Yeah, you're not so tough now. <coughs> oh, yeah! I can't believe it! Um, it's a good question. Oh, God! What the hell was that? Did you see that, cheap shot? Now that, that was no good. That ending, yeah, man, yeah! I thought I would, I thought you was gonna welcome me as a, as a hero, clearly not. She brought in the, the... I guess when you kill 10 or 20 of their female all-chick army, they get a little upset. That's understandable. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's try something really wacky. What is this? <coughs> something... The duel. It's crazy. I've never heard of it so many of these games. Kung Fu Kid. Let's see here. Featuring Panama Joe. <laughs> I like that they gave him billing on this version. Let's see here. The Otifants. I gotta try this. <coughs> this looks wacky. Anybody know what an Otifant is? Someone more well uh, spoken than I am? Okay. Alright, that's all looks good. The house. Oh gosh. This guy handles like you would expect someone that looks like him to handle. Okay. Okay. He's mad, but not he's still deadly. What? Okay, so that jumps. And that spits. Go with spits. Okay. Okay, we want to collect these. Okay, that's what I was wondering. Whoa! Burn. Have you ever heard of this one? <laughs> this is. How did this not. Oh my god! <laughs> How did this not get released on the Amiga? This is like right up its alley. I mean, sure, they had to add a few collectibles, but still. Oh, God! Okay, let's not go into pit of spikes this time. Ugh. Now, 
There you go, eat snot, pal. Okay. The old toy gimmick. I don't know what that means. I think I was carrying around martini glasses. That's wacky. Uh, do I want that or do I not want it? Is, am I dying? What's happening? Okay. I think that was good. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, jeez. The martini got hurt you. I thought maybe he could was carrying power up. In my game, that would be a power up. Kill you? Why won't you die? Oh god! It's repetitive, but it's catchy. Ah! No, no, not my butt! Remember what I told you that I didn't like those games where you had to jump up? <laughs> Here we go. Son of a, the controls on this arc, not good. It's got controls like absolute garbage. Yeah, they're not floaty, but they're not good. You're right, the Amiga controls are, be are better. Okay, so clearly I can't jump up there because of the roof. Also infuriating. So you can't hit your head on the roof. There we go. Oh, come on, this? What are we doing here? Go! Is he too... Okay. This seems like an indictment on my weight. Okay. I think that spring was fat shaming me. I'll eat a popsicle and make myself feel better. There it is. Oh god! Not the airplane! Oh no! Let's go up here. No! Oh Alright, so that was a fun, enjoyable look at the Autofence, and you'll never see that again on this channel. Holy God, horrible. Um, Dirt Rally 2? What is Dirt Rally, what platform is that, man? I told you, I'll play anything. You tell me the platform. If it's crap, I'll badmouth you, though. Man, you're set good and solid there, Del Morte. Golly, Ned's man. Is Dirt Rally on? Is that was that a game on the uh, Master System? Oh, okay. <coughs> well, let me see if I've got it on here. It's on Steam. Dirt Rally. Am I, if it, is it is it new? New? If it's on the PS4, yeah, I don't think I've got that. But I'll look. You never know. So you've got an a X, you've got an a, 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 well, let me ask you, so you have a IBM Model 30 80888XT. Alright, that's the one I want to talk about. What will you be doing, or do you plan to do with that? Because I had an 8088, and basically, effectively, it was a large, heavy paperweight. And occasionally, it would tell time. But I mean, what games are you going to play on that? You could play Alley Cat, but you, there are better versions of Alley Cat. Much better. <coughs> okay, dirt something. Let's see if I got it. I doubt it's on here because most of the stuff that's on here is going to low end stuff. But you never know. Hope Springs Eternal. Dirt, dirt, double. No, no. What was the other thing? PS4? I don't have PS4 on here. 
I don't think I have Xbox 360 on here either. That's how. Sorry, I'll have to get that the next time. Oh, God. Listen, I played the Lotus 1 2 3 game. When my, and I don't ever want to play that again. Because the Lotus 1 2 3 game is a text based spreadsheet nightmare. Or whatever the heck. I remember fooling with Lotus back on uh, in the old days, on the old X, XT. My mom used to use it for work. And I remember trying to help her with that god awful thing, man. <clears throat> Let's see here. Yeah, sorry, no dirt rally for you, I'm afraid. Where am I? How did I get here? Let's get out of the settings. I don't know how I got into settings here. Let's let's peek through to try something a little wackier. Let's see what we can do here. You know, we are the Amigos, so I feel like obligated to play an Amiga game. And I've been going through and testing these this Amiga build here. So let's find an Amiga game that we can get into. Um, because the Amiga's awesome. We all know that. Um, <coughs> that is, that's true. That's a, that's a good point. Let's see if it's on here. Rob, you're as smart as you are handsome, my friend. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Bam. Take off, Dave. I see what you said there. Okay, ARG. Let's see here. Press the button. Okay, I don't want it. I wonder if I do this. Okay. Pressing all the buttons. So let's... I do have the secret about this, I think. Let's see if we can, uh... Okay. I'm gonna let you behind the veil for a minute. This is the problem with the Amiga emulation. It's always a big rock and hassle. Here we go. <coughs> Left for Lizard and right for Radeon Software. Let's go with right for Ogre. Okay. Okay, Rob, what am I doing in this game? That's an ogre, all right. Okay. Okay, I breathe fire, all right. What are the buttons doing this? Because all I'm doing now is moving around. I don't know if I'm actually shooting or doing anything. I'd like to eat some of these guys. Oh, I did eat one. I want to eat you. Come here. Oh! Button plus down eats people. Okay. Okay. There he goes. Oh, alright, yeah. Oh, right behind. Can I, de can, I, can I destroy this thing? I don't think I like it. Now, what's the object of this, uh, Rob? Am I supposed to be destroying huts, or what am I doing here? Man, the controls in this are not that good. Oh, God! That was horrific! Looking for a hidden egg. Okay, clearly I should have chose the lizard. Let's try that again. Left for lizard. Okay, here we go. Oh, he looks much cooler. Now that's fire. Can you destroy the uh, catapult, Rob? Okay, let's look for this egg. Oh, hamburger. It's unusual for a... <laughs> oh, he talked. There he goes. Whoa, look at this. Okay. I gotta have that. Oh, no. Okay. Is 
a chili dog or something. Alright. I mean, this big giant mosquitoes do a number on you. Better eat some of these guys to refill. You know, this guy sort of prances around like those soccer players from earlier. Oh, no! Button plus up. I'm going to try this one more time. Okay. All right. Okay. This is, uh, what is, is this called? Arg. Clearly, the lizard's the best choice. Let's try this again. Can you destroy that, stra that statue as well? You can't. Not easily, though. There you go. Now we're raising some hell. Eat him! Maybe he can't eat this guy. I can't get him to eat or anything. And this magic egg has proven elusive. Did I run out of fire? Oh, okay. Oh. What did you say that was? Button up? I'm having trouble with the controls on this. Oh, I got one. I didn't get that one. Is that a giant piece of pizza? Yeah, okay. I could go for one of those right now myself. Well, if you feel a connection with him, you may want to turn your head. Because <laughs> I have a feeling he's in deep trouble. Yep, there he goes. Well, I give that one a, a thumbs. Let's go with thumbs in the middle. That would probably be a lot more fun with two players or one player that was competent. So there you go. I don't think I did too good at that one. That's that's the way she goes. Let's find something else here while we're here in the Amiga world. What is that crazy game I saw? Let's see if I... What's that? Look at that. There's the new Rygar. It's nice to see that included uh, in the uh, in the mix. Man, that was a tough game. I don't know if you caught that episode. Holy moly! Yeah, I I, I believe that did come across that. Oh yeah, I think we played that too. <laughs> Christmas episode. Let's find something really awesome here. Not that. Um, I want to play a good shooting game. Scramble spirits. That sounds pretty cool. Let's try that. Well, Soup, you know Hybris is good, but no one ever talks about Scramble Spirits. By the way, from Grand Slam, the same people that uh, gave you the game we covered tonight on the Amigo. So, this is another one of theirs, published by them. Oh, it's a Teak game. Hey, this might be pretty good. I mean, that's a good combo. <clears throat> Let's see here. I hope I don't have to use those controls. Let's see here. F1, spacebar. Start game, please. Uh huh. F1. One of these is going to start it. Oh, so you played this soup? Okay, man. Well, I'd like to play it too. There we go. Good tunes. Of course, no sound effects. Not good at all. Wow. This is uh, what I, not what I would call frame rate heavy, if you know what I mean. Oh, God. Yeah, this... I expected something much better, I'll be honest with you. 
I mean, I don't think the graphics look all that bad, but the frame rate is just, just crap. Everything's a lazy specky port on the on the uh, Amstrad. They know it. You're not going to offend them. The thing is, was this a was this a lazy specky port to the Amiga? <laughs> I mean, the specky shooters seem so much smoother than this. It doesn't look like it has two player simultaneous play. I'll give it that. But this is a, a real disappointment. At least we got an extra ship here. Yeah, man. I think you got it, Sveb. I think you just nailed it, my friend. You can smell one of those things a mile away. Also, this is another way of uh, the, what I call the dream catcher games. Where they decide, oh, I'm still I'm playing here. I thought I was watching a, uh, something in the middle. It's one of those games where they've taken uh, almost half the screen to put a big gimmick. You know, that's a, that's a, I mean, even though this is a vertical game, that's still weak. I mean, look at that. Oh, I, I, now wait a minute. You're going to shoot me while I'm looking at the stats? That is the worst kind of cheap. Anybody know this? Is this based on an arcade game? It says Sega. I mean, it could be something that they did. The music sounds like Sega. Like a low-end Sega. Oh. I mean, that sounds a lot like a Sega tune. This frame rate is so bad. That's something I rarely complain about on Amiga games. That might be the first time I remember. I mean, except for like Wing Commander or something. I'm getting ready to hit the gong on this one. I should get a little gong. That'd be a lot of fun. Anybody remember the Gong Show? Was that a thing in Europe? It was a great show over here. What am I having a big Gong? Oh, here we go, boss battle. Let's see how I fare. Remember, a... I guess I'm supposed to shoot the blue dot. Uh... Oh, you're moving the blue dot upwards. That's kind of cool. Thing. Yeah, there it goes. That's kind of now that is an in, that's an interesting slant. I don't think I've ever seen that before. I'm not saying I could do it. Hey, gummit. There it is. Oh crap! Typical. The old flying and the different other ship thing. Well, we're supposed to shoot these guys at. Seems random. Now, how do you dodge that? Yeah, the old Batwing trick. The Batwing was never involved in anything that lame. Okay, I've had enough of that. <laughs> I give that no stars. That's a, that's a, that's no good. All right. Well, heck, let's try. What time is it here? Let's try one more. Jeez, we've been going for two hours. Well, what the hell? Let's try one more here. Uh, let's see. How about something with the Vic 20? What the hell? Look at that. <clears throat> that actually looks pretty good on the Vic. Let's try that. I gotta see what that looks like. I didn't realize the Vic had put that out. That looks pretty darn good. I haven't tried to run anything on here with the Vic, so our mileage may vary. If it doesn't work, we'll just do something else. I can't imagine it taking this long to get a Vic game going. There we go. <clears throat> wow! That's on the Vic! That looks really good! I see this is another version where you don't get a middle gun. That makes it a lot harder. a lot harder that is perfectly satisfactory right there 
I am very impressed. Uh-oh, that's gonna cost me. Oh, I got lucky. I have to say, the Vic... Over the years, I, I never gave the Vic much heed back in the day. Oh, I knew it. You suck. You suck. Uh, but, because, you know, I didn't know anyone that had a Vic with the expansion memory card and all that jive. Oh, come on. And I've, I've heard the guys on uh, Pixel Gate talk about how many different cards there are. There's like a zillion of them. Is Remember, would you get out of here? Oh, my city. This guy's single-handedly destroying it. That sucked. I really missed that middle gun. Some of the cut-rate versions of this on, like, the lower-end systems. And I should have said cut-rate, but... The systems that are less capable, they sort of ditch that middle gun. And the middle gun is... <laughs> well, it's your best gun. For the obvious reasons. Oh, that's gonna cost me. Oh, I knew it. At least he died. That's it. Now, it's neat on the on most versions of this, when you lose all your buildings, a little UFO will fly up in the space. And of course, as I've mentioned probably several times on here, that is the this is the prequel to Cosmic Arc. And in Cosmic Arc, you're playing as that little UFO. Uh, so that was kind of neat. <clears throat> your gaming PC doesn't have it. What is your gaming PC, Wishbone? Uh, what is that the... Uh, what is the specs on the gaming PC uh, that you've got? Because that is odd. And if, unless that's the uh, X, the 8088. Uh, I mean, do you have one board sound? It's not that odd if you've got that, you know. Uh, but, uh, you know, I used to have... I told you I had the... Uh, I had that awesome uh, Hercules uh, Dynamite 128. That was my all-time favorite video card. Although I did get a, a Banshee card, the one, in fact, the one that Clint covered on LGR that had the uh, the uh, version of San Francisco Rush. I had that card with San Francisco Rush. That's why I bought it uh, because I wanted San Francisco Rush. Um, what system's that on? Picks. Uh, oh, well, yeah. You don't need a sound card. You got that built in, right? You don't need. A, heck, I don't got a sound card. Those days are over, man. Uh, but I used to have an AWE 64 Gold Sound Blaster, and I threw that thing out when I got the arcade. I still, I was stunned that PC cards are now valuable. I never saw that coming. Let me have a look, dude. I'm sure I've got it. If it's in the arcade and if it's available and it's relatively well known. Let's see here. Although I've got to tell you, I have not, I don't think I remember it, Mysterious Stones, but by God, we'll have a look. In case you're wondering, I legally own all these, so don't worry. It's all cool, man. If Laron's in the house. Look at that. There it is. Mysterious stones. I think my buddy had some of these removed a couple months ago. <clears throat> yeah. You know what I used to have from Gravis? Gravis made this. Everybody knows about the Gravis... Uh, gamepad, right? Well, Gravis made this control system that was a four-player uh, control system that each had, and it had hookups for all the players. I used to own this thing. I don't know what happened to it. I wish I still had it because it, it would be exceedingly rare these days. Okay, I've never played this one. Let's give it a whirl. All right. <laughs> the Andes, eh? Okay, I like that. Okay, so I'm, I, I assume I'm supposed to collect all these. Okay, I got a gun, and I... I what is that? It's just like a boot. Oh, shoot. What happened? I didn't see what happened there. Oh, look at that. Listen to the theme. <laughs> now, 
Now, am I supposed to just run through this, or should I be shooting something? Maybe this is where the kicking comes in. It is. Oh! Man, they've ripped off multiple songs in this. Nothing can stop the U.S. Air Force! <laughs> I like the name of this level, the education room. I assume this is where I'm supposed to be learning what I'm doing. And that's not working. Let's see if I can kick an egg into this guy. I can. Are these treasures in here? Is that what I'm... Oh, no. I have to say, this... <laughs> I can instantly see why I've never heard of this, but that's not saying it's a bad thing. Wow, I got I got the sandwich here. I'm, okay, we gotta try this again. Yeah, spelled council with an S. Sure, plenty of people do that nowadays. <laughs> I like how it does that. It just shows you the opening. Whoa, I didn't. Even see Okay, there's a bad guy. Okay. Let's get over here where I've got a little room to operate. And so those are all have treasure in them. Holy cow! I never thought I'd hear the... Nothing can stop the U.S. Air Force song mixed with the Indiana Jones knockoff. Okay, now I should be able to collect this. Here we go. Oh, he fired me. <coughs> How did you stumble across this game? I, I would love to know if my brother has seen this, because Brent specializes in the, most, in the strangest wackiest stuff, and I don't think he's... I bet my bottom dollar he's not played this one. It looks like you're being attacked by, like, a Gorn in, like, clown makeup with a sword. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, look at that. I'd love to get off the first board. I'd feel better about myself if that happened. Oh, here we go. Oh, look. The <laughs> I love the pit was opening. That was awesome. Okay. I guess that stuns them when you get that one. Oh, okay. Wow, this... I bet there's a lot of point... You could do a lot of point pressing in this if you knew what you were doing. It is hard. I mean, it's exceptionally hard, but it is very different. I haven't even used my gun. I probably should be using that in retrospect. Oh, no! Well, that seems sort of cheap. I don't know anything about it, uh, to be honest with you, man. I, the PS5 is so far off my radar, man. I can't even tell you. It's so far off. I couldn't buy one if I wanted to. And I you know, I don't have a PS4 or a PS3. I got a PS2 sitting here. If you're watching the the rear cam, there's one right there. I play uh um uh, what do they call it? The uh, uh what's that stupid mascot they got on this thing? The oh, Crash Team Racing. I play that. Yeah, yeah, there's a little misspell there. Hey, get used to that, Rob. If you've been anywhere near a school recently, you're going to get a lot of that. Because ain't nobody can spell no more. If, if for some reason we lost all the spell checkers, we're in big trouble. Uh, we'd be done. And good luck getting a sucker to put a piece of paper in a typewriter. <laughs> we'd be in trouble there, too. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Well, I think we're going to call it while the getting's good, my friends. <clears throat> I appreciate y'all uh, popping in hanging out. I like. I had a good time. I like just chilling out and playing some games, man. Having some fun and uh, forgetting about all the troubles of the modern world. 
Uh, I'm hoping next week, uh, y'all, we're either going to do in television. Oh, I should show you this. Hold on one second. I showed this, I think, the other day, but this is my boomstick. <laughs> it's, this is the, uh, this is the, uh, uh, this is the gun I got. Uh, let me, uh, scooch up here, and I will, uh, read what it says on here, because I can't remember what it says. Um, there it is. Uh, this is from, uh, 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 Sinden. Sinden. Uh, and these are, these are pretty cool, I've heard. I haven't got this thing fully installed, but I got the, got the gimmick here, and it's, it's got a little camera in it, so we might play some light gun games next week, uh, with that, if I get it working. Uh, that'll be kind of fun. So, anywho, thanks again, fellas. Appreciate all y'all. Uh, and for the folks I haven't met before, it was good to meet you. I hope you had a good time. And we'll try to do better next time. So have a good night, and when I can find where my mouse went... There it is. We will see you next time. Adios, everyone.